I just set up for my very first cat photo session here at the new studio and I thought I'd give you a look around and if we're lucky we'll be able to film part of this session. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So the kitty's name is Henry and Michael's gonna bring him in and he actually won this session at the NoCo Cat Cafe where he actually has a fish tank because he has a planted fish tank business. So cool. We have a huge planted fish tank at our house. Love it so much. And I just realized he started a YouTube channel too, which I'll link in the description. So maybe he'll let us film this session for you. Yeah. Okay. So that aside, let's take a look at what we've got set up. Okay. So the Cat Cafe has this green in their logo. So we're trying to get the kitty photos on this green paper. I believe it's evergreen from Savage. I'll put that link in the description too. I've got my two Flashpoint uh, 600s. And so this is my fill with this just bounce back umbrella. And this is my mane. Okay, so mane is higher power than fill. And then I have wiggles here because we were just doing a custom white balance with my gray card here. So what I do is I get the exposure right and I take a picture with the gray card and then I have just the right colors. This gray card <laughs> lives on my bookshelf. And so what I've got set up is my Sony A1 with my 2470 lens on it. And you can see this is what I've got those lights set at. If I change them here, then it'll change on the Explorer 600s. All right, so my settings are, let's see. We are at 1 200th of a second, F7.1, ISO 160, and I've got it on single shot because that works best with this camera and the flashes. And I've got the uh, silent shutter turned off. So that's what works best for flash on this particular setup is what I've found. So we've got the light set up at the right power. We've gotten our white balance set. Wiggles can go back up on the shelf. We've got everything set here. I've got my magic wand. I sprayed it with a little what I call clear catnip here, a little bit on the table. Not enough where you can see any spots, but so the kitty will like it. Now my backup plan is I still have the brown backdrop up and I can just pull my ottoman in, move the table, pull the ottoman in, and maybe this would be a comfier spot for Kitty. So I have my backup plan <laughs> if Kitty doesn't really like my table set up. If you wanna know how I put together this table, I do have two tutorials on YouTube on how we built this whole thing. There's two different designs. So um, I really love this, super portable, really awesome small studio setup. So there it is. Everything's ready to go. Frank will get here in a couple of minutes and then the client will get here in half an hour and hopefully I can show it all to you. Yay. All right. First, of course, we had to try them on the table with the cafe color green and he's a pretty chill, easygoing kitty. So we had high hopes that this setup would work pretty well for him. Too scary? Oh, Was that too scary, scary, Henry? I'm so sorry. <laughs> he never gets scared. No. <laughs> you can see in this clip, Frank's got a little bit of one of those treat pouches. I had sprayed a little bit of what I call clear catnip on the table, and we gave him a few chances to be comfortable in this table. After a couple of attempts, we narrowed it down to the lights blinking. He was really unsure about those lights. So we did end up switching out the flashes for my continuous light, my Godox UL 150 video light. I turned it all the way up. It was darker than it looked back there. And I have Frank with the reflector on the other side. 
And now that Henry had had a little taste of what it was like to wander around the studio, he's like, ah, oh, I don't think I want to be stuck on this little table. And he kept going back behind the other backdrop, which had a curtain back there too. So he was having a grand time exploring, but we did try a couple of different times with him at the table. So then we moved the table and we brought in the ottoman to use with the brown backdrop. And the ottoman is really comfy. A lot of dogs love it on the ottoman. So we really thought the ottoman would be a really great place for him. But again, he didn't want to be confined on the top of the ottoman. And we found he kept just wanting to go behind it and scratch at it and just have a grand time behind it where I couldn't see him at all. Plan C called for the carpet. We moved out the ottoman, stuck it against the wall, and pulled in the carpet. Henry still was hanging out behind the backdrop, but we enticed him out eventually, and he really loved it. The dogs and the cats really love this carpet. Oh, look at that look. <laughs> that was good. Good job. Did I call you? Yeah, I did, huh? <laughs> We had to get creative in keeping Henry in the middle of the carpet. So here the owner just has his hand under there and Henry's really chill, just hanging out. But at one point I said, let's get him a little bit closer to the center. So I grabbed the magic wand for him to put under the carpet instead. So here we grab my tripod and just stick one of the legs out. And in hindsight, I realized I should have just gotten the broom and we could have put the broom back under there. Walking towards me is so cool. That's cool with the tail up. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's a good one. That could be a vertical, huh? Yeah, well, just that's with a the nice tail. One. Mm. Yeah, I think that looks great. Cool. That's cool. awesome. That's yeah. a great one. I like yeah. that. Yeah. We got it, dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah what well, you can. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hi, friend. Hello. Yeah? Are we friends now? Are we friends now? How do you film your fish tanks? Do you GoPro it, Mike? No. What do you I got? I just use my phone. Oh, you use your phone. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Yeah, I put I use quite a bit of phone footage in mine too. <sighs> Am I sitting in a dog bed? Yes. Am I exhausted? Yes. Did I get any pictures? Yes. <laughs> Henry was such a friendly, nice cat, but like most cats, he's curious. He went behind the backdrop and there's a curtain back behind there and he went back in there and he was fine out, uh, out here, but not when we tried to put him somewhere. So we had the table uh, first because the green backdrop, that didn't work. So we moved it onto the other side of the room and then we tried the ottoman and he liked the ottoman, but he liked clawing at it and playing behind it. <laughs> I didn't get any pictures of him on the ottoman. At one point also the kitty, he was getting scared of the flashing strobe. So we took those lights out and put my video light in. I did have to increase the ISO to 800 and cause I needed a little bit more shutter speed. So I ended up at one 250th of a second, which was just fast enough if he came walking towards me. Uh, so I did use this uh, Godox UL 150 at full power. And then we just put the rug in here and that worked. So he was fine with the rug. By then we were playing. What we ended up doing 
<laughs> was taking one of the magic wands and the owner put it under the carpet. And then also the tripod that the camera's sitting on now, we put one leg under there to try to like get him to like stay in one spot <laughs> and get the carpet at that point. I don't know. I mean, Frank was using the dog sounds app because there's a bird and there's some kitten sounds and he liked that. A couple of times I would kind of make a little sound type of thing and he'd be like, oh, you want me to come over there? <laughs> and so that's what finally worked, which I think is going to be the picture that we use for the display, uh, will be him walking towards me. And uh, he's got his tail up because he's need to be vertical images, but... I think we got it. We got it. I do have a couple on the table and a couple here on the rug and a couple of just the owner and the kitty too, because it was just so cute. <laughs> um, they were just having a grand time. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It was really, really nice to talk to Mike and he's got a YouTube channel too. If you like planted fish tanks, uh, check that out. I'll put that in the description. I can't remember what the name of the channel is, but I'll put it right here on the screen too. So that was really, really fun to talk to YouTube and fish tanks. Uh, so that was awesome. And the cat cafe and just everything kind of came together. It was a great session. So as the first session for kitties here at this location, I think it went pretty well. As well as kitty cat sessions go, nice cat. He wasn't stressed out. He got some treats. He got some loves. He got to adventure. And that's what we want, right? We want him to have a good time. <laughs> so that's what I got for you, the first cat session here in, uh, in this space. Okay, so thanks for joining me here at Silver Paw Studio for Pro Pet Photog. And as always, I wish you many woofs, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's. <laughs> All right, now to clean up. <laughs>